<laughs> oh, wow, that looks so much fun. And that's because it is so much fun. And again, we're gonna be broadcasting k n right here at the Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel. And joining us now from Outrigger, we have Steve and Cece. Aloha, you guys. Aloha. Aloha. Thank you so much for having Thank us out here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and we have a beautiful setup, but our living getaway set here at the Beachcomber isn't the only thing that's changed. You guys have been up to a lot, so tell us what's new. Yes, so specifically for the Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel, we're so excited. We're continuing our partnership with Maui Brewing, a wine aroma cafe. The Beachcomber is the first cap hotel in Waikiki. So what that means is we work with local artists and influencers to really give us that vibe of the property. So we wanted to keep the Waikiki Beachcomber fun and active and engaging with all of our guests every time. So we we, work, we partner with Zach Powell in the art installation in the lobby. Makana um, is our curated musician. We play his music at our lobby every day. Our guests love it. And we continue to engage with all of the influencers and artists to make this a fun hotel. That's right. The first thing that people see is when you walk into the lobby, and you know, obviously we're here in the lobby, but this is our adopted living area. Yes. Tell me about the artwork we have behind us. Well, this is actually very tiny. We recently just had our Terrace of Modern Art event, event with Toma. So the Toma event, we featured local artists, but this time we featured international artist Tomo from Japan. He flew in to have this art installation at our lobby area. So this is going to stay for a little bit, mm -hmm. so our guests can enjoy it. It's a graphic artist that loves surfing and travel culture. That's very indicative of the Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber. He created all of these art pieces, and guests are just loving it. So the surfboard, the selfie wall, it's we're just so excited cool, yeah. to have it here. It's very bright and fun. And he is, he just loves Hawaii so much. And he has created art for Rainbow Jive In, Albert the Reef, which is our sister property, and of course the Albert the Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel. I love that. And, and also what's so great about that event, because we actually shared about it on Living It Away, yeah. is we learned that it all goes, the, the proceeds are for a great cause as well. And so this particular one was for Molly. Yes, absolutely. So this one is very special to us. The funds went to Outrigger Cares for our Maui Relief Post Fund. That's great. As you all know, we do have a property in Maui that was infected with the wildfire. So all of the proceeds for the event is going to our Outrigger Cares all right, tell me a little bit about the resort itself. Well, the Outworker Waikiki Beachcomber, we did a renovation about a few years ago, um, but we are still evolving and we're trying to add a lot of different touches on the property. Um, again, like I mentioned earlier, we work with local artists mm -hmm. and now international artists as well to put that art, artistic vibe into the property. We're steps away from Waikiki, yeah. so beach is just right a short walk from us, and we have that fun Waikiki vibe on property. Wonderful, and of course, Al Rigger, you guys have a lot of property. So Steve, what's new at all of the others? Well, uh, across the street, we have the Al Rigger Waikiki Beach. I've only been there for a year and a half, but I would have to say I get asked a lot, you know, how's business going? You compare everything to 2019, and, and I, I'm proud to say we're having the best year in the history of our property, oh, and we were built in 1967, and so we attribute that to a very high amount of repeat guests that we have. Of all the outriggers, ours is nicknamed Outrigger Maine. It's right on the 50-yard line in Waikiki Beach. It's home to Dukes, Cool the Brew. We have the uh, Blue Note uh, nightclub there, and so uh, when we to attribute our business to uh, a lot of guests that have been there forever, we spend a lot of time on them and recognizing them and really studying what, what it is that makes it important to them. Uh, for example, um, and so we follow social media and the two most popular things people remember is Mai Tai and Hula Pai from the restaurants. <laughs> so all of our hosts carry around these coupons and whether it's to and make someone have a great day better, or if there's something that, that we can do that maybe it wasn't perfect, we give them that and we just don't want to uh, have them leave without experiencing that. We're also the home of Faith Surf School. Uh, we teach surfing lessons right on property and it's got a great history behind it. One of our biggest things we do is we have surfer residents with surfing uh, really starting in our property way, way back in the days where it was the original Outrigger Canoe Club. Um, uh, we want all of our guests to get out there and experience that. So every three months we bring a famous surfer in to tour the property, wow. talk story with guests, and sometimes they go out and surf with our guests right after the tour. I had no idea you guys yeah, had that. Really and I need to find those people with those coupons. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes I do. Hey, we've talked about what you've done, what, what, what is going on currently. What's next? 
Sure. So Outrigger Waikiki Beach is, is on the list for renovations. You know, as you may or may not know, Outrigger was purchased in 2016 by KSL, and they immediately started to redefine what our properties look like. So you see the property, what, what's happened at the beachcomber. The reef is just coming off, off a of renovation. The Ohana East is right around the corner. That's in the midst of a renovation now. And we're slated to begin ours toward the end of 2025. So it gives us time to see what works best and what fits with our property. But the most important thing about Outrigger, Maine, as it's called, we want to keep that traditional Hawaii feel. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that we can focus on now. And it's all about being on the ocean and having the water and just captivating you when you, when you come up to the lobby. I love that. And of course, it's not just for your guests. I mean, you guys do so much in the community. So let's talk about why we're here today. You know, why do you guys choose to support the Honolulu Pride Parade? It's about equality and it's about respecting everyone's rights and treating everyone as an individual. And so Outrigger continuously shows that through their actions more than their words. And we're so proud with the diversity we have on our hosts, the diversity of our guests coming in. And we're just very proud to be affiliated with that. And we are really happy to be partnered up with you guys. Thank you so much for having us down and making this, uh, you know, the headquarters for Cage One Two and the Pride Parade that you can see on Cage One Two tomorrow. Right. Thank you. We're Thank so you. happy to have you here, and we're so proud to be a part of this event. And speaking of this event, we're going to learn so much more about Honolulu Pride and the Honolulu Pride Parade coming up in just a little bit. Coming up.